Here is my power line setup revamped again. So here's the first pole. It's a double arm dead end with some polymer insulators, dead end shoes, and a dead end shoe here. And then you have cross arm braces on both sides. You have a three quarter inch bolt with a goat head and a shackle and some twine going to a helical anchor. It's like a shed anchor or something. I got that at Lowe's. And getting these cross arms on was hard because getting the second cross arm on here, I had to do something with the tie downs to make it so this first cross arm wouldn't come off. Here's the second pole. It's like a seven foot pole. Most of them are eight foot poles. You have the neutral clevis slash clevis all up to here with a guy anchor with some needle tape, which I do need more of that. There's a lot of pressure because this goes up here to a side tie and then back to here. And there's tons of pressure there. I believe I did these ties correctly, but I am pretty sure I did some of them incorrectly because I forgot what how the ties were supposed to go i did a side tie which i think i was doing like some variation of a spool tie and then a top tie a copper top tie which i feel like i did that mostly correctly although i don't know and here's an eight foot cross arm with a type of gain i think it's called it's a bracket that holds a cross arm prevents it from rotating and then you have a lightning arrestor and then on this side, you have a porcelain lightning arrestor, an old type. I have a cup, a one more, and then I might be getting a few more sometime later. Here's a door, which you can open and just close. And then I think these are called some split bolts, although there's multiple different names. I've heard ground gloves. Kearney's and a bunch of other names. I've seen some fault tamers on some lightning arresters here. Here's a third pole with my bypass switches on them. And you have hotline clamps also called tap clamps. And here you have some lightning arresters on this side here. You can open these and close these, although I don't think I can do that with one hand. I need two hands or that DIY hot stick, which basically allows me to use two hands. And another neutral cleavage slash clevis. I've seen a different type before. It has like a plate that comes out around here. Although where I am right now, they do not use those. And here's a different type of pole, which treated a different way looks different from the first and second pole. It's the fourth pole. You have a dead end shoe, eye bolt. With these, I, they're jam nuts, or at least some thin type of nut. Although the power company here does not like to use them. And here's some cutout slash equipment brackets, which I might put up after I change out these for eight inch carriage bolts. And then you have cross arm braces, uh, six by six. You have some of these porcelain dead ends with some dead end shoes. Now I might put a ground rod just so it's a little safer if I do ever energize this, which I am considering doing with some lowish voltage. It actually sometimes can get to the medium voltage range, which is over 600 volts. And basically just some microwave transformers. This is my power line setup revamped again. I have a Discord server, link is in the description, please subscribe.